Hello again and welcome to Ndudu by Fafa. Hello Ndudu natives. Thank you again for tuning in for another exciting episode with Fafa. Welcome to my creative kitchen. Yeah, so today we're tackling contemporary stew, yes, but not as you know it. Naturally, I will leave the list of ingredients and measurements on my blog, fafagilbert.com, where you will find more creative recipes. Whilst you're there, please don't forget to subscribe. Now, let me go through the list of ingredients. So, I will be using my smoked mackerel, my grilled salmon, yes, and I've also got my banana shallots. You can use any onions that you do have available. Don't restrict yourself, absolutely not. And then we've got the egusi, which is the egusi powder. What I'm going to do is just add a bit of water and allow it to soak. So I'm just going to mix everything together until it's well combined as I go through the remaining ingredients. Next, I do have my baby plum tomatoes, one habanero chili and some fresh ginger. And then I've got my homemade, yes, zumi, which is the spiced palm oil. You can use any oil that you have available. Now here I've got my shea butter stock cube, yes, which is an all natural created by moi. And this is going to be available soon on Buy in Dudu. Yes, because it's all about our natural flavors and going back to the way our ancestors used to enjoy their dish. And of course, I'll be adding some tuna, yes, and that's just going to make it all fishy and absolutely beautiful. Now let's start. So on that medium to low heat, I'm adding my zumi, which is the spiced palm oil, together with my shea butter stock cube and banana shallots. And I'm just going to allow this to fry gently for about three to four minutes. And then I'm adding some chili flakes. This is looking good so far and the smell is so aromatic. At this point, I'm adding my smoked mackerel. Yes, it's going to add that smoky flavor as well to the dish. And I'm just going to mix this together. And um, that should take about six to seven minutes the next thing is I'm adding my marinated dry anchovies, which we call abobi or kita schoolboys. Yes. And so when I say this is a fishy affair, it's an absolute <laughs> fishy affair. Now, yet again, the abobi infusion is going to be available as well on buy in Dudu. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And yeah. Next thing is I'm um, adding my blended tomato, ginger, and my habanero chili. Exactly. And I've blended that together and I've added to this mixture. And I'm just going to fry all of this together for another eight minutes. Yet again on that medium to low heat. Now you've seen the bay leaf there and the bay leaf was infused into my dry anchovies or may I say a bobby infusion. Next thing is I'm adding my tuna flakes. Yes, and that's just beautiful. This is a high protein dish. Absolutely. And, you know, at this stage, you know, you can enjoy this on its own. You don't even need anything else. You can even see the grains of saline there. That was definitely infused into one of the spices that I've added to this mixture. So yes, at this point, um, it's looking good. And I'm just going to allow the tomato mixture to just cook for another five minutes. I've tasted it and it needed a little bit of salt to taste. Yes. And so I've done that. And I think this is almost ready. Yes. For my next step. Now, if this is your first time, you're welcome. Thank you very much for tuning in. And if you've watched to this point, you are appreciated. And here I've got my green chilies, which are on the milder side. Yes. So once you're eating everything else, you can bite into it. And it gives you that little mild kick. Yeah. So we're not making it overly spicy because it has already got habanero chili. So at this point, I'm now adding my 
sort of soaked a goosey, or may I say melon seeds, yes. And I'm just going to allow this to steam beautifully and infuse into the flavors. So you notice that I'm gently stirring this. It's not a rigorous thing. Yes, I'm just making sure that the infusion is taking place. And now what I am going to do is cover the saucepan with its lid so I can trap in that steam. And that is going to cook beautifully and gently for eight minutes. Yes. So after eight minutes, this is what it looks like. And at this point, I'm adding my salmon. So it was a leftover for my salmon recipe. I don't think I've put it up yet. So that might be the next recipe that I do put up or upload, may I say. What do you mean by put up? But anyway, <laughs> you get the drift, don't you? And so, yes, I'm going to be covering the salmon with that infusion of flavors, you see. And look at this. It's just bubbling beautifully. You could even just tell that the stew is going to be nice because we're cooking it at a beautiful temperature at that medium to low temperature so we can regulate it. And here I've got my contumery, which I have steamed and I did freeze it and I'm taking it out of the freezer. I allowed it to defrost. It didn't defrost entirely, but it defrosted a lot more for me to use. Yes. And yet again, I think I think if I've not uploaded it yet, it will be uploaded where I go into detail about the kukuyam leaves known as contumery. Yes, in the absence of it, you can use your spinach. So now let me check on the stew because it looks perfect. Exactly. That has got that beautiful scrambled egg consistency. Now, I do not want to break the salmon into pieces because, of course, the tuna is in little pieces and the macro, yeah, is there still. But it just gives it that texture, just something to bite onto, you know, whilst enjoying this dish. So you notice that I'm carefully mixing everything together until it's combined. And yes, I can now add my contumery. So this is coming almost to the end of the recipe. Now, in recent times, a few people keep asking, why do I wear the black gloves? Okay, so during the lockdown, I needed gloves and gloves became very scarce. So I bought a box, a whole box of the disposable gloves because, yes, I just needed to make sure that, you know, practice very good hygiene um, systems, especially when cooking as well. And um, I ended up with a black color. And anyway, I love it. It's black like me anyway. So why not? Um, I mean, I've had comments where people are either saying, oh, it's, you know, it's almost like I'm watching like a scary movie. Please. It's only a color of a glove, which is black. And I'm sure if I had maybe a cream one or white one or anything, it would even not be an issue. But I don't know why it's becoming a little bit of an issue because I I keep being asked that. It's a color, yes, and I like it anyway. It gives you that seriousness, really, doesn't it? <laughs> anyway, moving on. This is going to be cooking now. So, yes, I'm just warming everything through. And guess what? I served it with some boiled yam, as you do. I mean, then again, I really would love to enjoy this with rice because that's something I've not had for ages. Yeah, what would you pair this with? Bold plantain, or oh, can you imagine those fresh cocoa yam itself that you boil it in its skin? Oh, yes, that would go with this. Or the apim, oh gosh, there's a lot that can be served with this. Oh, yeah, a button to do by for any yala. Ah, me do no namla. Now, I hope you do like what you see, and if you do, please smash the like button. Please don't forget to share with your family and friends. Invite them over. Yes, and do leave your comments below. Tell me what you think about the recipe. Are you inspired to try it? Especially with that inclusion of my own customized shea butter stock cube, which, you know, has the whole story. Or may I say, like, the whole ancestral um, blends of spices that our ancestors used to use, you know, all the natural spices. Um, and herbs and that's what's I've actually infused in making that is absolutely incredible and no the spices that have been infused into the share butter has just made it so beautiful and aromatic that it doesn't have that share butter taste 
Then again, I've used the organic unrefined shea butter for this recipe and it's incredible. Naturally, as I mentioned, I'd leave the list of ingredients and measurements on my blog, fafagilbert.com, so do check it out. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and Snapchat as Indu Dubai Fafa, so pass by and say hi. Please don't forget to support the channel by purchasing some of the merchandise. I've got more and new and incredible designs coming up. Norel, thank you very much for my theme song and until my next recipe, please take care of yourselves be nice be beautiful you gorgeous selves and thank you very much for watching i love you for you